about the singing tortoise, um, it is a play written by the playwright from Togo, Senuvu Abotazinzu. It's a play that premiered in 1966. A contemporary French language play. In India, we performed it in, in its English version. It's a play about um, how the struggle for power and for survival can awaken the darkest sides of human beings. I wanted to read a monologue in this play that I think gives an overall view of uh, its content. So it's a, it's a monologue, it's, a, it's the fool's monologue in scene number six. The fool surrounded by a noisy crowd. Listen, listen, the hump on my back is still filled with stories. Grand new and true stories. A tortoise that sings, it's worth a fortune to someone who knows how, who knows how to use it. Even without getting to be chief counselor, its owner can grow rich. It's all in how you put the story over. That's why man invented public relations, propaganda, slogans. If, for example, he advertises the tortoise as a cure-all that guarantees love, luck, etc., everyone will line up at the door of Podogan, his lordship of the singing tortoise, since he's the one who has his hands on it. Except, it seems his lordship has a serious problem. The tortoise has stopped singing. Odogan believes Agbo Panzo knows the secret of making it sing. But now, as you know, according to his lordship, his lordship can do anything. What does a fool make of this? There are now three fools in the village. Myself, Agbo Panzo, and that most inscrutable fisher in troubled waters, his lordship, Odogan. The second play that we are presenting here is a French contemporary play written by the playwright Bernard-Marie Coltes in the 80s, published in the 80s and premiered in the 80s. The name of the play is K. West. And it is about the relationship between two worlds, two different, two opposite worlds. On the one hand, we have a middle-class couple who end up uh, next to an abandoned warehouse uh, in an abandoned place. And on the other hand, we have a bunch of illegal immigrants who live there illegally without, um, without papers. Um, so what is the relationship? What happens when these two worlds meet? Uh, it's about the clash between these two worlds and also about the relationship, the relationships among uh, the group of illegal immigrants. One theme that's, um, that is really important here is the question of give and take. So each relationship is seen as a business. I will do something for you if you do something for me. Only then will I help you. Only if you help me. I'm going to read you a few lines uh, that the playwright Coltes himself wrote at the end of the play. So these are instructions, staging instructions. So I'm going to read this for you. Staging K West. One should first of all keep in mind that all language is ironic and all movement is serious. This can help to avoid taking seriously those things which are not serious making scenes sad which should be funny and eliminate any sense of the tragic from the story and so in the first scene between monique and Koch, so monique and Koch are the middle class couple in the dark the real meaning of the scene can be achieved 
if what if one is above all determined to show two people trying to walk on a slippery surface for this scene is first and foremost the question asked and left unresolved who is following whom who is leading whom the text may sometimes be too long to perform well in k west the monologues are extremely long this i should add but actors are always too slow they tend to not say the words but to weigh them show them give them meaning instead you should always speak the text like a child who has a strong urge to pee recites a lesson so like a child who has a strong urge to pee you you remember when you're at school and like you have to you have to tell i mean you have to recite um a lesson a poem and you're like and you speak really fast because you 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 need, you need to go to the washroom so you, uh, the actor should go through it very quickly and shifting from one leg to the other and when he's finished running off to do what he's had in mind all the time one should never try to deduce the character's psychology from the meaning of what they are saying but on the contrary make them say the words the way you have deduced them to be like from what they do so uh, well uh, after the staging directions um I mean, the instructions are quite long, it's like four pages, but it's just to give a little, uh, just to make, um, just to give a little understanding of, um, of the display. And it's very interesting for a theatre director to have indications, uh, really clear indications, uh, at the end of, of this, of, um, of this, the, the playwright also explains uh, who should play which character which uh, the typology of person should play a character, etc. It's really, really interesting. K West, I have staged K West with Indian artists as well. This, uh, some were already with me uh, in the singing tour and some um, worked with me for the first time. <laughs>